here to talk about a naturally existing contingency. A natural existing contingency is one that exists independent of the practitioner or the behavior analyst. Um, it exists in the real world, in a natural environment, not in a clinical setting. Um, so an example of a natural contingency would be the effects of caffeine on me, um, which is why I'm talking very quickly this morning. Um, or another example would be um, the effects of alcohol on myself as I start to consume more alcohol, my words get a wee bit slower. Um, so anyway, those are two examples. There's millions of them pretty much, or bazillions, however you'd like to define bazillions. Um, anything that happens independent of somebody trying to make it happen is really what it is. But ironically, if it's not a practitioner trying to make something happen, then it's still an natural content. I think you get the idea. It's just stuff that happens when um, you're not involved in a clinical or a treatment setting. So um, effects of whatever it is. A car wreck, natural existing contingency. Running a red light, natural existing contingency. Getting pulled over for a cop for doing 743 miles an hour in a school zone, natural existing contingency. Um, ironically, I pretty much described all punishers. There could be reinforcers as well, because contingencies go either direction. Here we go. Cheerio. Here we go. Cheerio.